Hello there, uh, welcome to another topic. Uh, my name is ABD and our topic for today is vitamins. We will talk about their classification, function, sources and deficiencies. Let's start with the definition of vitamins. Vitamins are organic substances that occur in many foods and small amount for the normal metabolic functioning of the body. They are protective foods and they are required in small quantities in diet because they cannot be synthesized by the body. Okay, so vitamins are organic substances that occur in many foods and we require them in a small amount for the normal metabolic functioning, um, normal growth and maintenance of good health. And since the body cannot synthesize them, uh, so we need to get it through diet. What is their function? Uh, vitamins are helpful for the, normal, uh, for the health and life of the body in, all, in, in the following respects. They build up resistance of the body against diseases, prevent and cure various diseases caused by deficiency, uh, help the digestion and utilization of salts and carbohydrates in the body, stimulate and give strength to the digestive and nervous system, help health uh, protection, and help maintenance of proper health and normal growth. And there are also essential nutrients for the cells and tissues and organs. Okay, so uh, their classification on the basis of their solubility of vitamin can be classified into two groups, fat-soluble vitamins and water-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins, um, you know, we can see it from the name, they are soluble in fat. They can easily dissolve in uh, fat uh, because in, uh, fat could be easily stored in our body. And um, this means that they can accumulate and uh, be saved for later use. So fat-soluble vitamins, we have four vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Uh, vitamin A is responsible for vision, and the sources are carrots, sweet potatoes, and vitamin D is responsible for calcium balance, and the sources are sunlight, seafood, beef liver, cheese, egg yolks, and um, vitamin E acts as an uh, antioxidant, and the sources are nuts, seeds, vegetable oil, etc. And vitamin A act is a chlorine factor, and the sources are green leafy vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, etc. And the easy way to remember uh, fat soluble vitamin is like um, vitamin A and uh, vitamin K, vitamin E, and vitamin D. So we can say uh, a fat kid, you know, a kid with E. So I don't know, you, you can uh, think of your own way. Uh, anyhow, you can remember it, it's just four vitamins. The next one is uh, water-soluble vitamins. Water-soluble vitamins uh, are those that can dissolve in water uh, because our body is a watery envir environment. So these vitamins can move through our body pretty easily and uh, they can also be flushed out by our kidney. And water-soluble vitamin, we have vitamin B complex and vitamin C. Uh, and vitamin B, we have eight vitamins, vitamin B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 12. With vitamin B1 is also called thiamine, and uh, it is responsible for the uh, converting of uh, carbohydrates to energy. And the sources are green peas, sunflowers, sunflower seeds, mushroom, fortified bread. And vitamin B2 is called uh, riboflavin. And it is responsible for normal growth. And vitamin B2 is also called uh, beauty um, vitamin. So it is also good for skin. And the sources are milk, bread, almond, duck, meat, chicken, and um, cooked beef. So vitamin B3 is called uh, niacin, and it is responsible for releasing energy from carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, and it, is, it also helps in DNA synthesis. And the sources are liver, tuna, chicken breast, ground beef, brown ice, brown rice. And vitamin B5 is called um, pentatonic acid, and it acts as an um, anti-stress factor. Uh, and the sources are mushroom, 
uh, nuts, beans, peas, poultry, and some vegetables. Vitamin B6 is called uh, pyridoxin, and it helps in making antibodies uh, because antibodies are, you know, to fight against diseases. And the sources are chicken, fish, bread, eggs, brown rice, soya bean, and banana. Vitamin B7 uh, is called biotin, uh, and it is responsible um, for food to uh, to convert food uh, to glucose to produce energy. And uh, the sources are meat, vegetable, fruits, peanuts, walnuts, um, milk, and cheese. Vitamin B9 is called um, folic acid, and it is responsible for the uh, formation of RBCs, hair, and skin. And the sources are dark green leafy uh, vegetables, beans, yeast, oranges, eggs and milk. Vitamin B12 is called um, cabalamin uh, and it is also responsible for the uh, formation of RBC red blood cells and the sources are animal products um, like fish, meat, poultry, milk and milky products. And vitamin C is called ascorbic acid and it is responsible for the uh, synthesis of collagen and it also acts as an antioxidant and the sources are citrus fruits, oranges, and all those fruits, and green and red peppers, tomatoes, winter squash. Okay, now uh, the problem caused by uh, deficiency of vitamins, the fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, since it is responsible for vision, so uh, the deficiency can cause um, night blindness and uh, xeropthalmia uh, like lack of tears, uh, retardation of growth of children and lowering of the body resistance, keratomalacia, uh, degeneration of myelin sheath of the nerves. Vitamin D deficiency could cause rickets in children and osteomalacia in uh, adults. And vitamin E uh, deficiency could cause sterility in animals but never directly implicated in uh, males and abortions and females. Vitamin K deficiency could cause delayed coagulation time, um, profuse bleeding and slight injury uh, because it is a clotting factor so we will have uh, bleeding problems. Problem caused by deficiency of vitamins, the uh, water soluble vitamins. Vitamin B1 um, the problem could be a deficiency uh, could cause loss of appetite depression, exhaustion, and fatigue. Vitamin B2 deficiency could lead to lip cracks, soreness and crack on the tongue, redness of the eyes. And vitamin D, uh, B3 deficiency could lead to skin eruption, diarrhea, pellagra. And vitamin B5 deficiency uh, could lead to fatigue, irritability, insomnia, depression, and burning feet. Vitamin B6 uh, deficiency could lead to nervousness, walking, uh, weakness and difficulty in walking, uh, conclusive seizures in infants, and hypochromic anemia. Vitamin B7 um, could, ca uh, could cause uh, alopecia like uh, loss of hair uh, and scaly cutaneous rashes. Vitamin B9, uh, since it is responsible for the formation of um, RBC, so it could lead to megaloblastic anemia. And vitamin B12 is also um, responsible for the formation of uh, RBC, so it could also lead to megaloblastic anemia or uh, pernicious anemia. And vitamin C deficiency could lead to scurvy, bleeding, and um, uh, retraction of the gums, tendency of hemorrhage uh, from the skin capillaries, dental caries, anemia, and loss of appetite, delaying of wound healing, and... Uh, Okay, so the easy way to remember is um, fat-soluble vitamin, we could say a fat kid, and uh, water-soluble vitamin, we have vitamin B and vitamin C. So, B, C. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you. I hope you understand everything. And if you're interested in such uh, content, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.